Hey everybody, video here for you today. And I made a video four or five days ago, Porter County, Indiana, and some ancient mounds and lost history there. Well, today we're going to go down where some current history is still sitting there, but it's kind of lost the people in the area. I'm pretty sure we're going down to Muncie, Indiana today. This is the home of Ball State University. I'm sure I have a few subs in the area. Yorktown is just to the west here. We have some ancient ruins in between these two cities. Lies right down here. There is, this is what, West Kilgore Avenue right down here. There is a big patch of trees. 2,000 year old ruins. It's right below here. Here we are on Earth Pro. Looks like there's a lot of homes and businesses. And we have this one patch of trees here. Let's take a look back here if we can, see what's under here. Now, look back on historical imagery. I was really hoping to get a look under these trees in one shot. Wasn't happening. And then I finally got to this one right here. You can see it perfectly down here, this huge hinge circle here. It's pretty big. You can see it perfectly. And the trees don't have the leaves on them here. This is called the Yorktown Enclosure. This could go back 2,500 years, and from what I've read, it's been kind of destroyed over history, but this is pretty much exactly like the one in Anderson Park that I talked about, the uh, astronomers of ancient Indiana, and I'll leave a link for that video below. Here we are in the Giant Henge and Mound State Park in Anderson, Indiana. This is well-preserved. Nice park around here. I know I've had uh, some of my subs say that they have been here before. As a causeway coming into the main feature, the main central feature of the big, large circular hinge. These walls were a lot higher one time, and they did astronomical observations based on the rising point of celestial bodies, based on the outer hinge. That's the way I understand it. But this is very well preserved. And that one up there by Yorktown and Muncie, well, that is not well preserved at all. You have two sites, same significance, treated entirely differently. Here's an article from the archaeologicalconservancy.org. Prehistoric earthwork, Yorktown enclosure to be permanently preserved. And here is a look at what this hinge looks like today. Stark contrast to the hinge down there in Anderson, Indiana, that is for sure. It says local real estate developer in Indiana, Larry New, has agreed to sell land encompassing the Yorktown enclosure, a 2,000-year-old prehistoric earthwork to a national preservation organization in order to create a permanent archaeological preserve. The Archaeological Conservancy, a national nonprofit organization headquartered in New Mexico, will acquire land as a bargain sale to charity, paying only $20,000 for property appraised at more than $100,000. As I said, this article is about five years old. They bought this land for really, really cheap, make a archeological preserve, but from all appearances, nothing's been done. Maybe some people in the area have a little more information on this. I'd be real curious to what's happened to this land here. Apparently this enclosure has been known since 1881 when a history of Delaware County mentioned that near Yorktown, there was one of those enclosures of the class known as fortifications. And that's kind of a misrepresentation of what these actually were, I think. It says when the Yorktown enclosure was visited in 2007, they learned that it had been modified during the historic period. The ditch had been deepened and a low interior wall was created. While the original exterior wall had been buried by fill removed from the ditch, in addition, the causeway, which would allow access to the interior of the circle across the ditch, had been removed. So it seems this place was identical to the place in Anderson. Here's a pic from 2007. A look at the giant henge in here, still clearly visible, but not being preserved at all. A stark contrast to the nice park down in Anderson, Indiana. Here's a look from 2007. They found a whole bunch of garbage back here. They found bottles containers, children's toys, just a whole mixture of garbage back here. It says, fortunately, the interior of the circle and the original wall are still intact. 
So the site maintains significant research potential and is thought to be eligible for nomination to the National Register of Historic Places. So this place is not even on the National Register of Historic Places. Instead, it's being treated kind of like a dump. But this article talks about how the archaeological community and the developer came to an agreement and he sold the land. And it says, when we are able to preserve an important part of the nation's heritage while seeing economic development proceed as well, it really feels like a win-win situation, Gardner said. Here's the Yorktown enclosure between Muncie and Yorktown. Here is Mounds Park in Anderson, Indiana. Two places, same significance, treated totally different. But it seems they didn't want to really give out the location of this on a website. They just say it's between Muncie and Yorktown. So for me, not too hard to find. Some historical imagery gives us the exact location of this place. Over 2,000 year old ruins sitting right there between Muncie and Yorktown, Indiana. Just thought I would make that video on some covered up history. Curious to know what happens to that place. It's not being respected very well. It's identical to the place in Anderson, Indiana, yet treated totally opposite. Hope you thought that was informative, and you all have a very safe day.